through these doors. Presented by First Community Credit Union. Louis Belpedio, who was yes. a pretty good player in this league a couple of years ago. Oh, did that hit? I think that oh, might have caught. catch Marv? I hope not. No, or I want to say it caught uh, Simmons. Bill Simpson. Bill Simpson used to block in shots. He Usually he's got a helmet on. Go, Look at him. He, he just says. shakes it off. He's ready to go. Look at that. Little, little bump on the head. No cut. He's checking for blood. He's all good. They got the black business attire <laughs> on. He's ready to go. Top seeded North Dakota entered the NCHC quarterfinals against Miami with confidence and swagger starting their playoff run in the Palace on the Prairie. Now ahead for Schmaltz across the line. Schmaltz shoots and scores! Hey. Jake Schmaltz gives North Dakota one to nothing lead. Now fed it at the blue line. Weeb shot is just wide. Rebound at the side of the net. They score! Tapped in on the rebound. It's 2 nothing on the Orr McLaughlin goals. Levinovich is, oh, take it away from him. Said, we got in front, they score. Ryan Sullivan, and it's 2-1. to one. Now to Gaber, he'll pull the trigger and score. Reese Gaber and power play goal, and it's 3-1. to one. Here's Koontz with it, center. Blake in the slot, shoots, score. Blake with his 20th goal of the season, and it's 4-1. Drops it behind him, McLaughlin. He drops it behind him. Levinovic shoots and scores! It's five to one. Fans on their feet. And that will do it for game number one tonight. North Dakota with the five to one win in the opener in the NCHC quarterfinals here in 2024. From Ralph Engelstead Arena, good evening and welcome to University of North Dakota Fighting Hawks Playoff Hockey. As North Dakota and Miami meet for the second time in the best two out of three series, North Dakota hoping to end this series and head to the frozen faceoff in St. Paul next weekend. It's St. Patrick's Day Eve. Boy, and there's a lot of green in the crowd as there always is. Got it off the near right side for Dupalthic. He copped it up. Here's a shot by Gaber. He scores. Gaber made him pay with his 18th goal of the season. It's one to nothing. Blake takes a shot. Neat save. Rebound. Coach scores on the rebound. Power play goal makes it two to nothing. North Dakota. Now North Dakota back with Coots. Feeds it through McLaughlin. Right side. Shot the goal by Blake, and it's three to nothing. Got it out of Coates. Coates for Brett going right to the net. He scores! Hit a little deep. And look at Brett. It's North Dakota. Four to nothing lead. Ahead for Schmaltz. Hands it off. Here comes James. Shoots and scores! And it's five to nothing North Dakota. Strinton strides into the Miami zone. Shoots. Scores! Ben Strinton coming down the right side. Sniped it short side. Goes to the corner with it, centered a shot by Johannes, he scores! Seven to one. And congratulations to North Dakota. They are moving on to St. Paul and the frozen face-off. A quarterfinal sweep for number one UND over Miami. Seven one, the final, and game number two.
Show your school spirit with an exclusive UND Fighting Hawks debit card found only at First Community Credit Union. For the ninth time since joining the NCHC, North Dakota is frozen face-off bound. Nodak will face Omaha in the postseason for the second consecutive season, this time at the XL Energy Center. So it's one game elimination now, so you can't wait at all. and You don't have a game to get into it and play best to go to three, so it's got to be our best from the jump and play full 60 minutes and you'll play hard playoff hockey to get the job done. Everyone's playing for an end goal, right? Every team that's there, every team this past weekend even is just so intense and everyone wants it as bad as each other. You have the experience from the past games, right? You can learn from it. So I think we're going to do that one shift at a time and play our best game against Omaha right away. When you play teams a bunch, it starts to get more like a chess, not checkers type thing. And you know who you're going against, you know what they, their tendencies are. Right? So yeah, the preparation for that, I think mentally and physically, it definitely helps. They were more desperate when we played them last time as they needed to be. And we know things that worked and things that didn't, obviously. And you know we can go from there and adjust our game plan and hopefully have success with that. Just playing more cohesive and, and playing together as a team it definitely helps us build momentum. And we really want to keep that one seed so that we can have the best position moving forward here. Playoffs will go fast and it's kind of momentum of who's hot and who's not. And you know, it's important to keep building and keep growing and try to stay hot. So it's huge not to take any games off and you know, keep playing as long as we can. Presented by First Community Credit Union. Life is better with community.